Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video, we will explain how to route sounds from the Machine 2 plugin to single audio tracks in Cubase. This setup allows you to tweak Cubase track parameters, such as volume and panorama, for individual sounds rather than an entire group or master. First, load Machine 2 as a VST instrument in Cubase. Select Studio, VST Instruments, Click the Add Track Instrument button and select Machine 2. Next, load a drum kit in Group A. Press play to hear what we just loaded. You are now ready to assign the sounds in Machina to their own individual output channels. Make sure that the sound tab is selected. Click the channel icon button and choose output. Select the first sound you want to route. In our example, it's the kick drum. In the audio tab under destination, choose external one. Apply the above steps to all other machine sounds you want to route to separate channels in Cubase, selecting a different output for each sound. So for our second sound, which is a snare, select external 2. For the third sound, which is a closed hi-hat, external 3, and so on. Now we've routed all of the Machine sounds to their own individual output channels. Close your Machine instance and go back to the VST Instruments window. Click the little arrow pointing down. Choose Activate Outputs and select All Outputs. Now choose Studio, Mix Console, and press play. As you can see, all of your machine sounds are coming out of separate audio tracks in Cubase. So the machine sound assigned to external one, our kick drum, is sending its audio to the track name machine out one. The machine sound assigned to external two, our snare, is sending its audio to the track named Machine out two, and so on. If you solo one of them, you only hear the sound assigned to it. Please note that all of your machine group or master effects are now bypassed. This means your machine sounds may sound different when the signals are routed directly to audio tracks in Cubase. To demonstrate how to process channels independently in Cubase, we are loading a reverb plugin onto our second audio track containing a snare sound. Now you can hear how this single sound is being affected by the reverb plugin. Feel free to add more effects to your audio tracks or try out different mixes by adjusting the volume, panorama, as well as send effect settings in Cubase. 